Once upon a time, in a small town tucked away amidst towering mountains, there lived a group of friends who shared a deep bond. Their friendship was built on a common love for one thing, marijuana. The town, named Stonewood, was renowned for its lush greenery and a hidden cannabis farm that provided the finest strains of the herb. However, the peace and serenity of Stonewood would soon be shattered and the lives of these friends would take an unexpected turn. It was a dark and stormy night when a violent thunderstorm ravaged the town, causing extensive damage to the cannabis farm. Lightning struck the farm storage area, setting it ablaze and reducing the entire harvest to ashes. The news spread quickly, leaving the residents of Stonewood in shock and dismay. But none felt the impact of this disaster more than the group of friends who relied on their beloved marijuana and marijuana to escape the challenges of everyday life. The friends, consisting of Mike, Sarah, Chris, and Lisa, were devastated by the loss. Their shared stash had completely dwindled, leaving them without their usual means of relaxation and escape. With their anxiety and stress levels rising, they knew they had to take action. They couldn't bear the thought of going through life without the calming effects of their favorite herb. Desperate for a solution, the friends decided to embark on a dangerous journey into the heart of the mountains. Rumors had circulated about a mysterious hermit who possessed a secret marijuana plantation hidden deep within the wilderness. Determined to find this legendary stash, they equipped themselves with flashlights, camping gear, and a glimmer of hope. As they ventured further into the mountains, the atmosphere grew eerie and unsettling. Twisted branches reached out from the darkness, seemingly alive, whispering chilling secrets to anyone who dared to listen. The friends pressed on, undeterred by the mounting fear in their hearts. Hours turned into days as they navigated treacherous paths, battling harsh weather conditions and fatigue. Their bodies ached, their spirits dwindled, but their determination remained unyielding. Finally, they stumbled upon a secluded cabin nestled among towering pines. This had to be the hermit's hideaway. With a mix of excitement and apprehension, they approached the cabin. The door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit room. The air was thick with an intoxicating scent that instantly reminded them of the marijuana they craved so desperately. But the sight before them was chilling. The hermit, a gaunt figure with wild hair and sunken eyes, sat at a table cluttered with half-burned joints and empty bottles. The hermit's voice cracked like a dry twig as he greeted the friends. You've come seeking what was lost, haven't you? The herb that consumed your lives. He motioned towards the remnants of his once abundant stash. Mike, the boldest of the group, mustered the courage to ask, Can you help us? We're desperate to find a new source of marijuana. Our lives have become unbearable without it. The hermit, a somber smile spreading across his face, replied, You are not alone in your struggle. Many have sought me out, searching for a temporary escape. But I must tell you, the true strength lies in overcoming your dependencies and finding solace within yourselves. The friends exchanged glances, unsure of what to make of the hermit's words. He continued, This journey you've embarked upon is an opportunity for growth. Let go of your reliance on external substances and rediscover the strength within. As the hermit's words sank in, the friends realized the wisdom behind them. They had been running away from their problems, seeking temporary relief in marijuana. But the real challenge lay in facing their fears head on without relying on external crutches. With newfound determination, the friends bid farewell to the hermit and made their way back to Stonewood. The town, still recovering from the loss of the cannabis farm, welcomed them with open arms. Together, they resolved to support each other through the difficulties, finding solace in their friendship rather than in the haze of marijuana. In time, the town flourished once again, and the friends found happiness in the simplest of joys. They learned to confront their fears and found fulfillment in embracing life's challenges without the need for external substances. Their journey became a lesson for all, reminding them that true strength lies not in running away, but in confronting the darkness within and emerging stronger on the other side.